Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Barry, South Wales, and we continue with day one of the 2017 BDO World Trophy. We introduce to the stage the Baltic and Scandinavian regional qualifier, the reigning Baltic Cup Open and Lithuanian Open champion. He's Sweden's Iron Man, Dennis Nilsson. We now introduce a former BDO World Trophy and Lakeside World Championship quarter-finalist, the reigning Estonian Masters champion. It's Lithuania's Lucky D, Darius Labanauskas. So here we go then with this game against the number 10 seed, Darius Labanauskas from Lithuania, from Kaunas to be uh, exact, 40 years of age. And he's up against uh, Dennis Nilsson from Sweden, 41, known as the Iron Man, for the reigning Finnish Masters champion, also Baltic Cup winner in the uh, 2016 year. So reigning in champion of both those events. And as you heard, announced the Estonian Masters, Darius Labanauskas, and a player, uh, Scott Mitchell, who um, is always a danger. He's number 10 seed, but uh, a lot of people would say that he's really representative of somebody higher than that, or can be. Uh, he's the number 10 seed because I think he does a lot of the lower ranked tournaments, John, um, closer to home. So that's where he picks up a lot of his points, but... Uh, He's a determined little character. He's like a little terrier on your leg. He, he just doesn't go away. You can be really um, playing well against him and it doesn't seem to phase him in any way, shape or form. Whether it's because he's not great at the English language, not really sure. I think it helps Thank you, you put a set of blinkers first up leg, it's a situation. But, first. Um, both good players, these two. Both really good players. So this this could be a right, right old dust up. Ninety six. Well, a dust up between the two D's. Darius Dennis having a dust up. Hey, just imagine. One hundred and forty. Dennis has been a friend for a while now since my first trips out to Sweden and Finland's opened and uh you wouldn't believe it. One day he managed to pick me and me and Paul Carter. Up. He used to be a former powerlifter, Dennis Nielsen. Yes. And yes. Uh, he pi he picked Paul Carter and I up. One hundred. The only thing I've ever picked up is my school children from me, my grandchildren from school. Oh. But. Uh, he literally picked you up. He did, yeah. The two of us. The two of us stood together. And Paul's a big lad, just like me. So, uh, yeah, he was a power lifter, all right. Did it with ease. 83. Yes, I wouldn't want to argue with him, would you? No, no, I not think at I all. I might come off second best somehow. I picked up a groin strain running to the tuck shop at school, John. That was all I picked up. <laughs> Evidently, you got there. I got there, yeah. Don't worry, I limped there. Derek Redmond in the Olympic style. 58. I got Derek parried there. 112. 
chance then for an early strike. Treble 20. Oh, unlucky. 56. We, we talked earlier Dennis about up, up and down throwers and, and how the darts are very straight. And Darius is one of those. He's a very up and down thrower. Dennis will be disappointed with that. 100. He'd have rather that Darius 60 been the second dart 56. and give him a chance at the top. So it's 56 for Labanowskis for first blood. Usually a good double hitter. James and there you go. The first leg. Darius Labanowskis. Yes. Second leg. It's Dennis to throw first. No problem Game there on. then. So we throw 1 0 to Labanowskis. One hundred. Darius is one of the biggest practices in the BDO side of the game. It's avidly, you see him on the board everywhere we go. He's avidly practicing. Three. Some people actually love practice. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. They they, they love. One hundred. We all love the game, and mm. we'll all practice, as opposed to a certain extent. All professional players, but um, for some, it's it be, can become a chore. I'm sure. One hundred and thirty. For, for others, it can. It. it can lead up to the big championships. You know, you've got to have your downtime. There's no two ways about that because bad practice is bad practice, and if you're not feeling it then you can't stand there and force it because all it does 100. is ruin what you've got in your head. So, And that's the biggest part of the whole game. So bad practice is not a good thing to be doing. You've got to put it, put them down and have a wander away and come back in 30 minutes later and try again. And I, I find that if it's still not working then, then I don't bother with it. I put them down and try it tomorrow. Yes. No point in forcing it. Oh, unlucky. Wrong house. Going for two two four. No, sorry, one six one. Eighty nine. And in the end, getting eighty nine. So seventy two left for him. Two two four is Labanosi's score. He'll be looking for a one eighty or one forty to pressure this seventy two, and he's in there with the one forty at the least, surely. One hundred and forty. Dennis should require seventy two. So it's 20 for double top for Nielsen to put a leg on the board. 32. Well, that was Darius way over the top of double top. And uh, the Lithuanian now has a great chance, 84. 14 on the bull. Well, he now got the double. 11. 11. 62. That's a uh, chosen route, 40. knowing that 14 leaves the ball, so 40 for Nelson. 20, double 10. Oh dear, double 5 now. Well, yeah, all full credit to him. It's like one in a previous game we were commentating on, and you said, didn't you? Yeah. Straight at it, be positive. Absolutely. It might be your only dart you get at it, so. With Lavanowski sat there with 22, it's, you've got to have that last dart as a positive dart. 97. <coughs> not bad, not bad. 42. That'll knock his average down. Look, four points so early in the game, with it mm. only being the third leg. Uh, smaller sample. Here we go with Labanowskis. Oh, 135. So close to the maximum. You've got to stop this little fella getting away with it, Labanowskis, because if he gets away with these games, he goes off into the sunset. I tell you what, he's got a heck of a profile there. He's won some tournaments in his time as Labanowskis. As you say, a lot of them are... Yeah, of local body. things like the Riga Open and the Riga Masters, the Polish Open that takes a bit of winning, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, here we go. 180 first of the match goes to wow. Nielsen, excellent 180. Uh, but uh, is it going to help him in the long run? Oh dear, possibly. Maybe. 
Possibly. Oh, oh that pulled him out. That pulled him out to leave 64. Really needs a treble now. Really needs it desperately. 60. Darius requires 64. Ideally, he could have done with another 180, couldn't he? <laughs> another one of those. And double 16. He'll be back. He'll be back. Famous last word. Well, he will be now. Sixty. Darius should require thirty-two. Game shot That's the as clean Darius as it, as clean as Fourth it could be. Absolutely no doubt about that one. No wire involved, just the middle of the green bit. Actually won the Hall Open, you know. I didn't realise that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, that. Yeah. that is a tournament with a lot yes. of entries. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Good as soon as we go to Holland, there's always lots of entries. Last, last six, uh, what was it, last year in 2016? Like I say, he's starting to break the top ten. He's starting to beat the, the, the top players more often now. And this is... 140! This is the curve of how it works. One hundred. Steady darts from the Swede, hoping to level up at two all, and it looks as though he might. Although that's made a very nice hole in Labanowskis' score. And of course, mentally he's turned the corner on one nine nine to two oh one. It's all these little things in the players' heads. Another one of those, and he's a real threat. Yes, definitely nine left. Now this 101 has now taken on a different look. He's got to get it. You feel? There's the one. That's the one Didn't indeed. Intend it. Just under the treble for Dennis there. Forty-one. Darius requires sixty-six. Clickety click. I don't suppose they know that in uh, yeah. Lithuania. 32 left. Oh, yeah, clever stuff. Way. Clever Darren stuff. I suspected it was uh, Nilsson, the Iron Man's. Uh, Important steal a throw early doors there for Darius. Need uh, to take that 101 out. Just felt that. 66 was within Labanowskis' scope. No Starting danger. Starting to get ahead of steam now, Labanowskis. Nielsen has with Hughes earlier, just all over it. Just can't get one to drop. One hundred and thirty-seven. One hundred and forty. Well, I think he's a threat, this fella. I think he. I. I think seeded ten. I think he's definitely one or two of the top seeds the early seeds have gone jamie hughes has left the 44. Danny has gone. 128. he's definitely a no-nonsense type of player he just gets on with the job gets on with the job in hand doesn't show too much emotion 96 to leave 32 
And After uh, 12, that's no it's no slouchy darts, that. That's that's good darts wherever you're playing. So for a 13 darts. Darts require 32. Likes this. Fancy this. Yep. And he put it exactly Goes where he wanted to, where I thought it was going to go, where See, you like thought it was going to go. Absolutely. And straight up and down throw. He used the, used the flight beautifully. Forty-seven. When the dart is on the wire and it's in such a position and lying in such a way, it makes the next dart actually easier to find a target it helps it it does it does you're mentally attuned as well as as well as the physical though. And as a player you tend not to actually aim at the double you tend to aim at the dart Whoa! and use it um it's not often that you're able to sometimes use a dart until it you know you you can use it on a treble 20 if you're just above um depending on how tall you are in stature obviously which is why mr taylor likes 96. the under, under stacker he uses that dart lower of the 60 and he just plops it on there and then it goes. Um, it's something you learn as you as you go through the the life circle of darts, getting to where we get. 100! From your Super League and your county and you get to internationals and then hopefully you make it here. Yes. And after this, folks, I'm not saying it's over yet by any means, uh, but uh, after this match, we've got the reigning champion, Darrell Fitton, coming up. He's going to be playing fellow Englishman, Conan Whitehead. And uh, Darrell Fitton seeded number seven. 84. So don't miss that one. Scott will be sitting next to me for that one, and I'm very grateful for your uh, company because... Uh, You've got your important match tomorrow. We won't be seeing you Dennis tomorrow, that's for sure. Or in the commentary box, because you've got so this match. And you, one. you won't take anybody for granted. Oh, will you? lucky on the second. One on the thirty-four. That's brilliant. Yes, that's brilliant. He's not done with, is he? No, not at all. You must have to have mental strength to be a power lifter, surely. <laughs> yes. Well, they call him the Iron Man. And uh, 100. Dennis, you require 36. Tungsten, he's uh, not so bad at as well. I was going to go and collect that. Called treading water. Oh, he dipped a toe in, didn't he? Oh, oh he's dipped that one in again. No score. These are things uh, that tend to happen to you at 4 Darren 1 down, John. They don't happen to you when you're 4 1 up. 69 left. He'll come down for 19. 19 ball, and that's a no, perfect lie for his bullseye. Oh, oh brilliant. Absolutely Dash brilliant. That's a killer, that, for Nilsson. He Senate actually deliberately burst his score because he wanted to be on 36 mm -hmm. rather than... And, and, yeah, and, and then he steps up and gets, uh, uses, gets it with the ball. That's, that's a killer, isn't it? No, knowing Darius like I do, I, I think I just called it. I said that's a perfect dart for him for the ball because he did will, indeed. with his size, he'll just uh, use that dart to fly it over the top. And as long as he could fly it over the top, it was going to hit the ball. And <clears throat> 180. Well, that's his second. If they were winning, if they were counting the score on 180s, he's 2 0 up, but they don't. No, as we all know. <clears throat> we all know the man that said it. <laughs> 81. And how true was it? How true is it? Here we go again. Well, Dennis Nilsson, two successive 180s, and he may be trailing by five legs to one, but he's actually now on a nine dart finish can the big 99. man can Dennis the big man finish the job off with a perfect nine oh unlucky needed a treble 20 but what a great six darts 
51. But he should win the leg, Scott. You say should, but if Lavanowskis bangs a 140 here, oh, yeah. it's a different story. You know, that disappointment of missing that seventh dart can affect you. We've seen it many, oh, many times. Dennis should require 90. Twenty for tops. Fifty. So Lavanowskis will now be just looking to pressure the forty and a hope Dennis that he can get back as he did when he took the ninety-four. Sure. There we go. Dennis I think well, he did a, a 13 darter. Sorry to interrupt, Scott. He did a 13 darter there. Eight leg. Know. It's Dennis to throw first. That might just Game spark on. something of a revival, especially if he holds his throw here. There was something different about that dart, though, John. It was like, you're going to go where I want you to go, whereas I think he was a little more tentative in the leg before. It was yeah. like he was more hoping that it would 100. go in. 100! Oh, if you've hit two 180s, your confidence is sky high. You start believing you can hit anything that has... Oh, now is the 180 going to come back at him? 140! <laughs> Lucky D, they call that Darius Lavanowskis. Lucky D. The more he practices, the luckier he gets. 180! Well, is it four in the match? But he's losing by more than a whisker. Is the beard in one? But he certainly hasn't given up. And now, having just hit a 13 darter, where he was attempting a 9 dart leg, he's now on an 11 dart finish. I'm sure he'd be happy with a 12. Dennis require 81. Just win the leg. Yeah, that's what he's concentrated on. Going across for the 16. 41. So Lavanowskis again back on 208. We'll look to pressure. Well, a ton 80 would help in that respect. 140 would as well, John. Uh, it's not game over yet, or leg over. Let's, oh, leg finished, I should say. It's not the time to start thinking now, Dennis. It's game shot the eighth leg. Take Dennis the game, Wilson. take the leg. Well, it's now 5-3. It's now 5-3, and the leg that strikes me as being the one that has made the difference so far was the bull finish on, on that 64. On yeah, the 94, yeah. 125, 19 bull. And these are the fine lines in these first to six races. These are the Indeed fine lines. And Indeed they are. And that was when he had darts at double 18 and double 9. And deliberately burst his score to go back to double 18 and never got a shot at it. Those are the moments, as you say, that, that make the difference. And as an you opponent, you're thinking that he thinks you're not going to get a goal. Yes, yes. So then you step up and go, oh, is that what you think, mate? Well, I'm going to get a dart <laughs> at it. See what happens. And that's how players think. 100. Well, I think on that occasion he was thinking, I might not get a go at it, but if I do, I'd rather be going for 18s than anything, you know, the 9s or whatever it oh, was. I said either. like a true fan there, John. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd, I'd, so. have liked to let, I'd have liked to hit the one. Oh. Well, it's taken him nine legs or eight and a half legs to get the first 180 on the board, but he's not bothered about that because he's 5-3 up and wants 81 for the match. It's been a good game this, you and, know. And oh, potential leg winning match, and Nilsson's gone ton, 140 ton. He's done nothing wrong against the darts. He can't do anything about this. He's, will he go 12? He's, he's considering because Nilsson's on 161. He's going to go 12. Well, he missed it altogether. And he missed it because he thought about it. <laughs> 
Forty-one. Yeah. Dennis should require one hundred and sixty-one. Oh, it'd be terrific if he got this. He's on treble seventeen. Oh, I would have loved to have seen that go. Because, because this, this is actually a very good game Darren between, between two no. potentially underrated players. Both deserve to be here. Game shot. Well, and game match. shot on the Darius match in the end to Darius Labanowskis and the number 10 seed is through. Coming up, we've got the reigning champ, Daryl Fitton, against Colin Whitehead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as he leaves the stage, the man from Sweden, Dennis Nilsson. So, Darius, shall we have a small interview? When I he says think. he'll try. Now, we look at the Baltic and Scandinavian We're rankings, and there's you tonight. and Dennis at the top. You've played him before, haven't you? Yeah. He has your Lithuanian Open title. Yeah, but um, last 16, about, or 32, he played well in Lithuanian Open. I think we play first time. We'll look at the record books. It's all about tonight. Statisticians down there say it's been two times now. What about you? Quarter finalist at the Lakeside, a quarter finalist in the BDO World Trophy last year. You are a man that uh, people know is a dangerous one in these tournaments. You feeling good? Yeah, after first game, my feeling good. Yeah. He's feeling good. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen.